Well, look at what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. The Marling Baits Octopus Mold. Uh, <clears throat> used its eight legs to crawl all the way from Iowa to Florida and wound up in my shop. So, I think we should play with it. What do you guys think? The Marlin Bakes Octopus. I'm sure you've seen the video. Um, Nate put this together and uh, and it's an awesome bait. Sent it to me to uh, so that I can have a crack at it. So, uh, hopefully I will do you guys and Mr. Marling justice. Okay, so we have the octopus mold here, the Marling Bakes Octopus. Marling Bates Octopus Hand Pour Mold. Um, so, if you've seen his video, he actually put a jig head inside the mold and rigged it to where, uh, well, kind of set it up to where when, when he poured the mold, um, he was pouring it around a jig head, so it came out of the mold pre-rigged. Uh, I don't think he was um, completely satisfied with, uh, with the way that it rigged doing it that way. Um, just hooking the fish. I, I don't think he was getting the hook sets that he wanted to. Um, so he sent it to me and said, figure out another way to, to rig it and, and see if you can rig it in a, in a better way. Um, so uh, I have no idea how I'm going to rig it. I've got to make a few of them first. I've done one as like a test run because um, I got the mold in the mail two days ago. Um, so I've already made one. And uh, I need to take it up to Academy or Bass Pro and, and just look at some rigging options. Um, I've got something in mind, um, but to start this video, we're just going to uh, first uh, make a few octopi. I think that's how Nate said it, octopi. I think the plural version is octopuses. I, that just sounds dumb, so we're going to go with octopi. I like octopi better. Uh, so anyway, we're going to make a few octopi. And uh, we're gonna look at some some octopus colors uh, and see if there's any natural octopus colors that I want to make. If not, we're just gonna make something off the wall. But uh, anyway, the real trick is gonna be rigging it properly, and uh, and then hopefully one day this week I can get out and take it fishing. So this will kind of have to be a, a two-part video. Uh, today's Sunday afternoon, so I'm gonna make my octopi today. And then at a later date, um, try to get them in front of a fish. Let's see, so I'm looking at some pictures of some octopi here online. That's kind of cool. Orange, orange with white spots. Uh, let's see, some of these are just a little too out there. Let's see. Boy, no, that's that's something right there. Purple. Hmm. Not really feeling these. If I'm being completely honest, they're just kind of orange and red. You know, I don't, I don't even think that that's r real. But um, yeah, that's that's real. So there's definitely lots of orange and reds in them. But I'm kind of thinking I might do something different. I've, I've kind of already measured out two cups of plastic one for the body and then one color for the uh, tentacles legs um, so I think we're just gonna make just whatever I, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna try to match uh, a real octopus picture um, I just didn't really feel any of those so I have some uh, some color shifting pigments some of these are new that's the stuff you've seen before these two are new so we're going to use some of these as remelt eventually um, to do some color shifting octopi. <laughs> um, but for right now, we're going to do like a two color. Um, it's going to be like a white pearl body with kind of purple pearl legs with some flake. Um, I think it'll have good contrast and the white pearl will allow for good contrast uh, um, for the eyeballs that I'm going to put on it. Um, so I think that'll look pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna make a few of those, then we'll play with some color shift illusion type stuff uh, just for fun. Okay, so now time to play with some color. So we're gonna add some pearl white to the body side, okay? Yeah, not too much. All right. 
That's about three quarter, well, that's almost one measuring cup worth. So we're not gonna add too much stuff. And then some blue highlight, just to give it a little extra something, since it's just gonna be pearl. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stir that in. And the plastic I'm using today is uh, the Craw Tube Blend from Dead On Plastic. Because of kind of the bulkiness of the bait and all the tentacles, I wanted to use a firmer plastic um, to just try to prevent it from tearing up. So um, <clears throat> I definitely think this will be a good move. Uh, I use this on my test octopus. I guess I need to show that to you guys, the one that I made yesterday. But um, anyway, that's what our head and body is going to look like right there. Just a simple pearl and highlight mix. Nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Okay, and then the uh, excuse me, and then the tentacles, the legs, are going to be a purple pearl base. So this is Hobby Lobby <laughs> uh, pearl flake. Okay. Uh, excuse me, pearl um, purple pearl. So you might remember this from the Hobby Lobby video. And then on on that side, we're going to add some big black flake to give it some texture. You know, if you, if you look at an octopus legs on the bottom, they have those suction cups. Um, and a lot of times on the pictures I was looking at, the legs will kind of be a little twisted and rotated. So you'll see the texture of the suction cups. So I figured I'd put some flake uh, in the legs just for texture purposes to um, kind of mimic that, I guess you could, you could say. And then we're gonna add a little bit of small silver just to uh, add a little sparkle so anyway these are going to be pearl white and purple octopi okay real simple color ideas very 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 simple yeah so that's going to be our tentacles and legs i gotta heat this stuff back up anyway i think that'll look pretty neat so I'm gonna heat this stuff back up and then we will be right back. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pour the first body and that body is very thick. <clears throat> um, so it draws a lot of plastic in. So this will have to be kind of topped off with some more of that. Or I might just go ahead and top it off with the um, color of the tentacles. Um, but either way, um, that's that we've got our first head body poured and uh, i can already see that kind of drawing in as the plastic cools it shrinks um ooh, lighting change so we will have to um top that off eventually and looks like the legs are ready all right so we're gonna hit these um kind of where the plastic had some overspill on the edges we're gonna hit it with the heat gun just to tack them up that way we get a good bond between our legs and those edges right there on, of the body. So that's what we're gonna do. Gonna really tack those up real well. All right, and here we go. I haven't tried pouring this as a two color yet. So we're just gonna go, go from the center out. And uh, you know, this is, this is kind of a challenging pour. You're pouring very small areas, um, and a lot of them. So, let's see. Yeah. This purple plastic needs to be a little hotter, actually, to really do this right. Sorry, I'm having to do it around the camera, which is never ideal. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this plastic hotter for the next pour. Ugh. Not a very good first pour, not gonna lie. Struggling, struggling, Nate. Oh, this dang camera's in the way. Jeez, come on. All right, now that that's over with, we're gonna think of a much better way to do this for the next pour. All right, you can see uh, that it sunk in even more, but I mean, this thing is ready to be taken out. So we're gonna Start with the legs, of course. Gonna have to do quite a bit of trimming over on that side. OK. 
Okay. There we go. Then we will pop this open. All right. <laughs> yeah, check that out. Pretty neat. It's like a devil spider. Or something like that. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Well, we're going to let that set up for a while. And uh, then we're going to pour the next one. Okay, here comes the next body. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to have a lot of that left over, that's for sure. Alright, we're going to let that sit, then get ready to pour the legs. Alright, I went ahead and poured the legs on the next one without the camera in the way, and as you can see, um, quite a bit cleaner, not perfect. Um, I don't know that you can really pour this thing perfectly. There's just so much twisting and turning, and, and then you have to do it eight times. Um, but anyway, that one's going to look pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to see it, and we will meet you back. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes for one of these to set up because the body's so thick. Um, so uh, it'll take a little bit, but we will come back when it's done. Okay, let's get this next one out here. Should be done. Come on, baby. Oh. You know, that one may not have been done. Look at that. There's a hole in the head. Oh, fail, you guys. And I did such a good job pouring those legs. What went wrong? Why is there a ginormous hole in the head? All right, well, that octopus right there isn't going to work, so we're going to try again. All right, here's another attempt. We're going to pour that head a little slower this time, and maybe uh, we won't trap any air. Also pouring it a little colder, the plastic's not as hot. So I'm hoping that in theory it won't draw in as much because it doesn't have um, as much cooling to do. So uh, fingers crossed. Okay, and there we have the legs poured on the next one. So this is now the third one. Uh, the first one worked, the second one was a fail. Uh, let's hope number three uh, turns out good. Okay, I think this next one here is ready. Bait number three. All right. Fingers crossed. Definitely doesn't look like there's a big hole in it, so that's good. Oh. All right. I think that one worked. Yeah, it looks good to me. Come on now. Yeah, check that out. And the legs will do that in the water. Put it on a big jig head or something and scurry it about. That's killer, guys. All right, we just got done pouring number four. So uh, I don't want to burn up too much time on, uh, on just pouring this color. So we're going to stop here. We'll show you this one when it's done and then we'll move on to some color shift okay the fourth attempt worked and uh, we're gonna move on to some other things okay look at that color shift mirror madness so we're just gonna do a solid color and just pour this see what we can do with it I like how it kind of starts filling in the uh, tentacles for you a little bit there. Doesn't fill them in all the way, of course, but it kind of gets you started. Sorry, it, doing this around the camera. That's my excuse for my poor pouring. All right, so we have our next color shift octopus in the uh, mold, and here's the one that we poured first so you can see gorgeous gorgeous color shifting going on it's like a rainbow of purples blues and greens um, so that's going to be a really 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 cool octopus um, so anyway we're going to make a few of those 
and uh, and then we're gonna stop for today I'll probably make a few more um, before I take them fishing just so that I'll have options and uh, I'll have more than just a handful of them um, we're also gonna put some eyes on uh, so we will do that um, next after I make a few more of these okay so we've kind of got stuff everywhere here but uh, we are putting eyeballs on our octopi and uh, on these I wanted to do these just straight black eyes um, there's no detail on them at all it's just a black dot um, whoops because I knew that it would have really cool contrast if I can get it on there there we go yeah it would just kind of contrast that white pearl take that tag off and I thought that that would look pretty sick so anyway get another one here they're so hard to pick up these little teeny tiny eyes these are just quarter inches I think yeah how about that pretty cool so that's what we're doing we have that one done over there um, on the color shift I have a couple different color shifts here I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with on the eyes yet um, but we will uh, come back and, and show you all of them once once I have eyes on everything um, so I'm gonna pick out some eyes for those and then we will uh, take a closer look okay so here are the octopi for today or uh, octopuses if uh, if someone out there is really really tired of me saying octopi um, so anyway here's what we did first so we did these kind of white pearlish with the purple legs you can see we have those black eyes on there which I think looks pretty cool pretty mean and uh, let's see over here we're getting into some color shift and I put really nice eyes on those those are fish skull living eyes right there um, they make probably the best small eyes um, you know you can get really good 3d detail eyes like that down to really small sizes um, a lot of a lot of places don't make them quite that small um, so those are the two color shift I did another color shift off camera that's the that's the color shift that uh, that I've seen uh, excuse me that I've shown on the channel before this stuff over here is newer and then this was the first octopus that I made yesterday um, I had some bubble trouble as you can see um, but I pretty much got that sorted out today and um, that's a blend of a different color shift different than these two um, so that was the first one we have those living eyes on there as well so um, those are going to be like our fancy ones that we're uh, that we're going to do. Now I'm going to pour some some other ones. Um, they'll be you know more simple colors, probably just like an orange, maybe like a you know a, a green pumpkin with some flake or something like that, just so that I have some more options when I do take these fishing. Um, but as far as the fancy octopi are concerned, um, that's what we did and I think they look really good. Let me know which one is your favorite. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Uh, I am finally um, getting out where I can try this octopus bait out. Uh, I did the weekend with uh, Big Show Terry Scroggins and, um, and Josh Clark from Angling AI. That was this past weekend. Um, didn't get a chance to throw the octopus over there, and uh, now I am, so I'm actually at a pond. I'm gonna be meeting Simple Jack down here and uh and his wife angel so um they haven't been on the channel in a while so i'm really excited to uh go fishing with them hopefully we can get some filming done uh however long my battery lasts really because uh, we're going to be in a john boat which doesn't have a uh cigarette lighter plug in for the cameras or anything like that so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to rig up an octopus and then fish off the bank here a little bit and just see if i can get one before they got here before they get here i have about 30 minutes i got here real early so we're gonna throw the octopus around and see what we can do. Okay, so there's one of the octopus baits right there and I'm gonna rig it on a jig head. So it's gonna be a lot like Marling rigged his with the hook coming out the top, sort of like that. 
Um, so I'm gonna put the camera down and rig that up and uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so there's what we have. Try to, well, lighting is a little bright. That jig head, the front of it split that head in half. So I might try to find another, a different jig head. But that's, uh, I mean, I, I played with a lot of riggings, guys. And uh, the, the way that he did it the first time, I think is probably the best way that you can even do this thing. Um, so anyway, we're gonna throw it around and, uh, and see what she looks like. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. There it is in the water. That's kind of, you know, you can see those legs kicking around. So, yeah. It's definitely gonna be very, very visible in the water. So, yeah, pretty cool. But an octopus, who knows? That was him, guys. Oh, all right. First cast, though. Oh, man, that was a good bite. Just again, rigging this thing is is a challenge. I mean, he smoked it right at the bank. So, hey, the octopus definitely gets bites in post cold front conditions in North Florida. I just had another one come up and hit it right here at the bank. It's about a three pounder. Uh, I don't know if she'll hit again, but um, tell you what, this thing gets bites. Guys, I gotta tell y'all, I am like just sick to my stomach that I missed that fish. And the fact that she came right back and hit it again. So I mean, y'all saw the hook set. I fought her for a few seconds and then it pulled out. So I'm uh, starting to panic. Like, what if I don't get another bite on this thing? It, is the video a failure is you know like dang it i gotta get a fish on this thing show them what you got there man a dink a dink but you know what we've actually caught quite a few fish today but no more no more bites for me on the octopus unfortunately Put a mouth on that thing. yeah that's huge absolutely hey thelma hold him up for the camera make him look bigger. yeah make him look huge oh you kissing oh god all right, that's the upside down hook, weedless octopus. Hey, dude, what? How can I catch one on this octopus? Like, what, what am I doing wrong? Oh, oh, that was a bite. I'm on a cinder block. Thelma, do you want to say hello to the uh, YouTube people? Come get on camera and say hello. Hello. <laughs> Wait, you got to say your coin phrase. As only she can deliver. Hello. Thelma, what's your favorite phrase? Woohoo! Hello.
Man, they're not biting anything down here. We're throwing worms at them. Octopuses. Octopi. Square bills. You know, we caught a few fish at that last pond. But uh, most of them come on Cinco's. They weren't biting traps or nothing like I thought they would. But I got that one good bite on the octopus. But uh, that may be all she wrote. I don't know. I'm Donovan and Chris failed the octopus test. Chris failed the octu octopus test. <laughs> yes, I did. This is Big Bird here, and Chris Jones failed the octopus challenge. All right, guys. Well, you heard it there from everybody. I failed the octopus challenge. Um, I had victory this close. It was on my line, and I just couldn't get it done. I, I don't know. I'm. I'm, I'm 0 for 2 on uh, on my uh, marling baits uh, catches on film, but uh, please don't stop stop sending me cool molds, Nate, if you're watching this, because uh, I enjoy these very much, and and uh, and my audience does too. They, um, you know, you you guys always um, are asking me when's the next uh, marling collaboration. So hopefully we can keep doing this again in the future. But uh, you know, those fish today. They may have won the battle, but I will win the war. That's going to be a really great bed fishing bait. Um, so I'm going to stockpile several octopi and uh, plop them down on some beds come February. About February is when they start here. And uh, I will jack a fish on that dang bait. You guys better believe it. I know I believe it, especially after um, you know hooking, hooking a good one on it today. I mean, they, they will absolutely bite that thing, so. Um, and if you're fishing brackish water, it probably looks like a crab to them, I guess, in a way. You know, which is on their diet, so. Um, a really, really awesome bait. I mean, you know, Nate makes just the, the most unique, creative I, I, baits on the platform, bar none, in my opinion. Um, and this is one of them, so. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Uh, please shoot me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, we'll catch you next time.